What's going on you guys, I'll be bringing you the first game of the season for NBA 2K23 next gen on PlayStation 5. And on 2K23, I think this was only my second game I ever played. The first one is already on my channel, the live stream that I did with the Atlanta Hawks. So I think this was my second or third game on the PS5. And with this specific team, after the draft, this was my first game. So there's a lot of learning to do. And I could say that for both teams. But my opponent already played, I think, five games with this team. He was 5-0. And I was 0-0, zero and zero, so he has a little bit of an advantage in terms of experience uh, with his team. But I'm not going to use that as an excuse, I'm going to use it as a reason to get better. Every game that you play in the season is a learning process. You learn the tendencies of your players, you learn the plays, you learn how you want to run your offense. There's so many different things to learn every single game. And especially even with the playbook, I don't know which plays I'm going to be running most of the time. I try to vary my offense, try to do different things. For example, some plays are focused on pick and roll, some plays are three point plays. Some plays I like to isolate, so it really depends. I don't know what I'm comfortable with yet with this team. So a lot of these plays are default plays, but some of them I am using from previous 2K. And the shooting is really hard, man. Lowry, wide open, brick. The shooting is really hard. I'm saying that early on because, like I said, I haven't played too much of this game yet. So, obviously, everything is going to be pretty much difficult to do. But I'm pretty sure after a couple of games, if I play this game a little bit more, it's going to be easier as everything else in life. You know, <laughs> the more you do it, the more easier it will be. So especially the shooting, that's one thing that I really need to try to improve on. Because in this game, even if you're wide open, if it's not green, I feel like it's always going to miss. Like that shot right there was a good, pretty good shot. Dillian Books came off a double screen and I missed. So this was a nice play by Harden, find Gafford in the paint. So far, it's still a pretty close game. Only a three point difference. So I'm going to try to run a screen and roll with Gafford again, but Paul George plays some great defense, nice escape dribble with Harden and I get to the paint. As you can see, James Harden is getting most of the points and I'm still struggling with the rest of my team. Paul George with a nice step back three, that was a beautiful step back, perfect release, can't complain about that, that's what he does. So again, another perfect, I mean, <laughs> I was going to say perfect shot. That was a pretty quick shot, to be honest, and then he capitalized with a three. But Kyle Lowry gets into the paint. That was a nice blow by. I don't know if you guys saw that change of speed. That was beautiful. But a lot of these shots that I'm taking with Kyle Lowry, they're either wide open or they're pretty good looks. It's just that I'm missing. But like I said, a lot of players, I'm still mad that animation is still in this game. Like when you. <laughs> I don't know how you explain that, but I can't believe that's still in the game. What just happened there, that kind of steal. But yes, let me go back on what I was saying. A lot of these shots that I'm taking with Lowry or other players are pretty good looks. It's just that I can't time it yet. It's only my first game of the season, so I have confidence that if I keep playing, if I keep practicing, these shots will eventually go in. So that's one of the biggest problems I have so far is shooting my, or should I say making my open shots because if I can't make my open shots then obviously I can't score and my opponent has a lead. Like right now he has a 5 point lead. It's not that bad since I've been missing a lot of good looks. So another double screen play right here. I'm going to find Wiggins off a screen and I'm going to go all the way and he gets fouled. So that's one thing I've been trying to do recently since I can't shoot that much is drive it to the rim as much as I can. But I'm not trying to use turbo that much as well because the stamina on this game is really crazy. So Harden, wide open look. I think that's my first green. I'm not too sure but it felt so satisfying to finally green a shot after so many misses. But now it's a tie basketball game. 
after we were down, but Paul George gets a nice facial right there, and one. So we had a nice mini comeback. And he greens the free throw. Also, the free throw, if you don't green it, it misses most of the time, which is crazy. <laughs> I know on 2K22, even if you're not even close to greening it, it could still go in. But on this game, I feel like if it's not green, it doesn't go in. I know I said that earlier, but I just gotta mention it again. James Harden with nice dribble, he gets fouled coast to coast. And speaking of free throws, I think I'm gonna green this one. Yes, I do. I green the first one. And I think I'm gonna green the second one as well. So we finally take a one point lead. So this third quarter has a lot of action. We're actually hitting our shots. Our offense is clicking. We get the team takeover right there. This is a bad shot, to be honest. <laughs> I thought Brandon Clark still had that 73 pointer like on 2K22, but he doesn't. So Draymond Green fumbled the ball here. Now we're going to get the basketball right back. Because on 2K22, even if Brandon Clark only had like a 73 point shot, it was easy to time and green. But on this game, I realized it was a little bit lower. But it's all good. We're going to try to take advantage of this team takeover. Step back three with James Harden. That was beautiful. And we take a four point lead. James Harden is starting to cook. He already has 10 points in this quarter. My opponent also got team take. So Paul George tries to get the three point shot right back. He misses, and then Drew Holiday comes right back. He goes all the way in. That was a nice drive, so I ended up calling a timeout. But guess what happens? 2K decides to cancel our game. We got a network error. It's really unfortunate because both teams, our offenses were picking up. We were hitting shots, it was getting exciting. We both had team takeover, but hey, 2K is like that sometimes. So if you guys enjoyed it, drop a like and a comment, and I'll see y'all in the next game. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe.